I was hitting a wall with my cryptocurrency investments, feeling like I was missing something crucial. Then I discovered some game-changing insights about crypto wallets that completely turned things around. It turns out there are several key strategies you need to focus on, and these include picking the right wallet, whether it's a hardware wallet or a software wallet, or one from your favorite exchange. Choosing the right one is key. The second is boosting security, using smart security practices to keep your assets safe and the third is staying organized keeping your crypto holdings in check with the best practices for storage and transactions what's amazing is that once i understood these strategies i realized i've been overcomplicating my approach managing cryptocurrency doesn't have to be overwhelming investing just a little time and using the right wallet can make a massive difference i'm excited to share these tips with you so you can streamline your crypto management and achieve better results so let's jump into the different types of crypto wallets that are on offer. There are a whole variety of different wallets out there, but you might ask yourself, why not just keep your crypto on the exchange you purchased it from? You don't have to figure out how to use a wallet. Potentially, you could gain up to 10% interest on your investments, which all seems great, but it only sounds good on paper. Take it from someone who lost over $4,500 by leaving their crypto on Celsius, which was an exchange that went bankrupt in July of 2020. 22. FTX followed suit as well and billions of dollars of investors money has been lost. Thankfully I was able to get those funds back but it was a lengthy process and I had no idea if I'd ever see that money again. I would personally always recommend using some type of wallet whether it's a software wallet, hardware wallet or MPC wallet as well. Anything is better than just leaving your money on the exchange you purchased the crypto from. So let's jump over to a great software wallet option which is Exodus. It's non-custodial and it's a popular, well-known cryptocurrency wallet. It's what I first started with in the cryptocurrency space because it's really accessible. It's available both on iOS and Android and you can use it on your computer or your smartphone. It's got multi-currency support including all the major ones like Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana. There's over 260 different cryptocurrencies supported by Exodus. It also has staking so you can earn interest anywhere between 3 to 15 percent on cryptocurrencies like solana ethereum and atom exodus offers a clean and intuitive interface that simplifies the process of managing and trading your cryptocurrencies it has a built-in exchange feature that allows users to trade cryptocurrencies directly within the wallet this feature is powered by third-party exchange partners and it makes it convenient to swap assets without leaving the app the wallet provides a portfolio view where users can monitor their cryptocurrency holdings, track their value over time, and view transaction histories. This is a great feature and will actually show you the price changes across different time points, like 24 hours, months, or even the lifetime that you've been investing. Exodus offers several security features, including private keys stored locally on the user's device, password protection, and backup options. It's also protected by a seed phrase, so if you change your computer, computer or your device is damaged, you can gain access to your portfolio on another device using the seed phrase. A seed phrase does provide some limitations since you know you have to keep a physical copy of it written down and secured. Exodus can be paired with hardware wallets like the Trezor Model T, adding an extra layer of security for users who want to combine the convenience of Exodus with enhanced security of cold storage. I personally navigate my Trezor Model T with Exodus as I find it more user-friendly than the native Trezor Suite application. You can also have a separate portfolio between your Exodus wallet and your Trezor Model T. The Trezor Model T is a hardware wallet. It's what I personally upgraded to once I started to build a larger portfolio, which I personally think is a good idea to upgrade your wallet once more money is invested. The Trezor Model T provides some great features like increased security for your crypto cryptocurrency holdings by keeping private keys offline and protected. This minimizes the risk of online threats such as hacking and phishing attacks. Recovering your money from a Trezor Model T or unlocking it if you forget your password can be done with a seed phrase. This is great if the wallet becomes lost, damaged or stolen. Again, you have to maintain secure ownership of the seed phrase in a physical copy, ideally just handwritten on a piece of paper or printed out, but you don't 
don't want to store it digitally anywhere like a file on your computer or your phone. Then the third option is the Easy Crypto MPC wallet. Now this incorporates the best of both worlds, security of a hardware wallet and ease of functionality from a software wallet. The Easy Crypto MPC wallet is integrated with the Easy Crypto Exchange to offer all of the usual buy, sell and swap features. It also has a cool feature where you can also create multiple wallets with different blockchain addresses in the one app for improved privacy. And of course it uses the latest security and recovery technology. This wallet does not use the traditional seed phrase. Instead, when you set up the MPC wallet, it generates two key shares. One share is stored securely on your device, while the other is kept safe by Easy Crypto linked to your Easy Crypto account. To perform any transactions, both key shares are required. A single key share alone is useless, ensuring that Easy Crypto cannot access your funds. This makes the Easy Crypto wallet 100% self custodial and highlights the innovative nature of the MPC wallet. However, this raises two important questions. What if your device is lost, stolen, or damaged? And what if you want to switch to a different mobile? device. Cloud Backup addresses these concerns. If you use a Google account for example, you can easily back up your key share with a few taps. When you switch devices and log into your account, Easy Crypto Wallet will recognize you, allowing you to access your funds on a new device. The MPC Wallet offers the autonomy and self-custody benefits of something like a Trezor Model T with the added protection, security and privacy of MPC technology. If you're interested in trying out the Easy Crypto MPC wallet or exploring the platform, be sure to sign up using my link down below in the description box to check out Easy Crypto for yourself. Then you also have the native wallets offered by platforms like CoinSpot and SwiftX. These are the biggest crypto wallet exchanges in Australia and they both offer their own native wallet. I'll be comparing each of these wallets side by side as there is a lot of crossover between them. Coin Coinspot is an Australian cryptocurrency exchange and the wallet service offers a range of different features for managing digital assets. The wallet's interface is designed to be user friendly and easy to use for beginners and seasoned investors. It offers security features like two-factor authentication to protect users accounts and transactions and there's also account-wide withdrawal bans to limit funds being abruptly taken off the platform. Both platforms Platforms have AUD integration, allowing users to easily deposit, withdraw, and trade cryptocurrencies using their local currency. You can top up your wallet with BPay, cash deposit, or direct deposit. Both CoinSpot and SwiftX offer portfolio tracking. Users can monitor their cryptocurrency holdings, track their value over time, and view detailed transaction histories through their wallets. Both CoinSpot and SwiftX offer staking features allowing users to earn interest on their investments. And they also have tax reporting tools to help users track their transactions and generate tax reports, simplifying the process of calculating gains and losses for tax purposes. Now that you're familiar with some of the different storage options in the cryptocurrency space, knowing where to store your crypto isn't enough to make a profit. You also have to know where to actually buy your crypto from. Picking out the right place platform isn't easy. You need to find one that has cheap fees, access to the best investments and has an easy to follow design. Make sure to check out this video on screen that will give you a complete guide on the best exchange to use to purchase your crypto from.